What's up YouTube, Darren Dyke here with Beyond Slow Motion. It's great to see you all again. So I have kind of a fun video for you guys today. Um, if you have followed me here or over on Gizmo Slip with my uh, friend Brandon, you know that we've done a lot of various explosions and stuff. What up, dude? <laughs> I'm excited because today we have Brandon's uh, V1611. It's a camera that shoots at uh, more than 18,000 frames per second in 720p. It's really, really cool. 18,487 uh, frames per second. To be specific, to be specific, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're out here with our good friend Matt Barnett, who we'll introduce to you in just a second, <laughs> who has uh, all kinds of amazing explosives and a demo range where we can do some really cool stuff. So I'm excited. Let's get to it. Timber battle. Ah! 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 <laughs> all right, so we're here out at the explosion site where we're going to be blowing stuff up, and I'm really excited because we have with us today Brandon's V16. 11. Wow, wow, wow! This thing is insane. Like we talked about earlier, this is the camera that shoots at over 18,500 frames per second, so it's kind of crazy. In HD, but it can punch up to like 50,000 or 100,000 frames per second at lower resolutions. Right. And when you're filming explosions, they require insane frame rates to be able to even capture the most minute details. This is the fastest camera that we've ever taken out to film ballistics with. Uh, so we're excited. It's gonna be some really cool footage. This is Matt Barnett. He is our resident explosives expert. And uh, yeah, tell us a little bit about what we're doing today, man. Okay, so we're gonna take C4 and we're gonna wrap it around this uh, plastic cone right here. Now C4 detonates at a velocity of 26,400 feet per second. In a typical shape charge, this cone would be made out of metal, say copper. And what it would do is it would invert it. So here's the explosive, here's the cone. It'll actually invert it like this. And it'll form a little slug that'll move very, very fast, around 10 kilometers a second. And in our case, we have plastic. So that's not going to happen. We're still going to get the jets that form that are going to be moving extremely fast, but we're not going to have a solid copper projectile. And so we don't have to worry about shooting somebody six counties over. We're just going to have a local event, but we're still going to aim this in a safe direction. So the main reason that we have a shaped charge is that we can angle it at the smoke and be able to uh, get a better visual than if it was just a generalized explosion. Right. So is that right? Yeah, Darren wants to put up multicolored smoke, and I think that's a brilliant idea. He wanted to see what's the blast wave look like as it, you know, what, how can you see it? It's clear, right? So with this multicolored smoke, you'll be able to see it move as it's, as it's acted upon by these high pressure gases. It should be pretty cool. Right, it's gonna be awesome. I'm stoked, let's go check it out. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're taking these smoke bombs and we're going to basically set them in the ground a little bit so that they stay somewhat stable. And uh, ideally we'll just set them up in a row, just a whole bunch of them along this way, and we'll uh, set the explosives shooting this way so that it hits all of these in a row. And uh, yeah, we'll see what it's like. You know, it, it's, it's hard to really put into words just how crazy the percussion from one of those explosions feels. Like, you feel it throughout your entire body. It just is a complete reverberation, just like the deepest bass like that you can imagine. It's, it's, it's a very visceral feeling, but that was cool. I'm really excited to see what the footage looks like. Let's check it out. 
Let's go. Check it out. Here we go. 33,000 frames per second. Whoa! <laughs> Gnarly. It's like a cock and balls. <laughs> of course it is, Brandon. Of course I it is. Ruin that. <laughs> of course you're gonna look at the explosion and see something phallic. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Look how it threw the fire over to L the right. Literally a fireball. Yeah. Pretty much. You know, you know what's funny is that like it, it almost puts all of the smoke out, like just immediately. Yeah, it's rolling it. Yeah, like it it, it, it doesn't even reach the end of the smoke though, the initial uh -huh. blast. Look how it kicked the grass up where it hit. Oh my god, the foreground is like lifting up right now. Mm-hmm, the whole, like, everything. Oh, there's a hole in the smoke. Look at that. Uh-huh. Hole in the smoke. We'll see right in the middle there's no smoke, now it's going back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like just right blew here. those suckers out. That's insane. So this is a detonator. Uh, of course, it's gone off. It had a delay element in here. This is what caused it to have a 450 millisecond delay. It was actually burning through this tube until it hit the explosive at the end. But here's what's neat. This cap was only about an inch longer, and it was in that charge. I mean, that's, that's how the charge went off. This was stuck in the back of it. But when you watch that video and you see how massive that explosion is, it only it left most of this detonator and this is just a little plastic tube now it's it's burned it's darkened a little bit but for the most part it's intact whereas if it had been on the other side this thing would have been obliterated like blown to smithereens because all the energy was shaped that charge was shaped so that all the energy went generally in one direction of course that there was destruction all around it but you can see by this surviving that most of it went that way that's really incredible it's cool yeah Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. This is Brandon. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> All up in my face here. Coming in for the tech. All right, so Brandon has just also made a video uh, trying to blow up a phone with gasoline. Trying to see if a phone can survive a gasoline explosion. One gallon of gasoline, iPhone inside. Boom, boom. Go check it out. There's links below, guys. And of course, Matt, thank you so much for blowing some stuff up for us. This has been a whole lot of fun. So you get this cool little uh, A&W going on up here. What What's that about? So that's Art of War. And what it is is I kind of like to do artistic, creative things. And I got to thinking, you know, all the uh, bombshells and helmets, anything military-wise could be turned into art. And so what I did is I started making cool little hat racks and bells, and I've got candle holders and wine bottle decor just all kind of neat stuff you can check it out on etsy at art of war co uh, i've got a shop there where i sell stuff so you know check it out if you want some history some art that actually tells a story It'd be a great gift i hope you guys enjoyed that it was a lot of fun check out all of that stuff links down below i'm looking forward to sharing some more awesome stuff in slow motion until next time take care